Gonna continue real quickly about my dad, Al Goldsmith. I'm gonna title this, If You Love Them, Let Them Know. Part two. You know, it's really true. But I have to disagree with what Annette said at the end of the uh, video. She said time heals all wounds, wounds, and I don't think so. Cause it's been about eight, nine, 10 years and it feels well, like yesterday. Not for me, not. I would say when you're not thinking about it, that's true. But when you're at the place like right here, it feels just as painful as if it was yesterday to me. But that's just me. Well, yeah, it does to me too. Well, you just said it healed it, but if it healed it, you wouldn't feel the pain. That's my point, but hey, we're not gonna be in a debate here. <laughs> Thing is, you need to tell people that you love, that you love them. You don't know if you have your next breath, you don't know if they have theirs. But more importantly, you also need to do everything you can to live the best life you can. And you know what? Frankly, I don't care who believes in what I do, what claims I make they believe or don't believe, what, who, pe who likes me and who hates me. When it comes to why I do what I do, there's a lot of reasons. But I'll sum it up for you real quickly. I'm gonna get famous on my TV show and I will be an extraordinary network marketer. Those are a given. I'm absolutely 100% certain with those being a, a reality. So I really don't care who believes, who disbelieves. It doesn't matter if you believe or disbelieve. It only matters if we believe. And that's the great lie that we've been allowed to be brainwashed by. You know, whether somebody believes we're capable or they don't, until we believe it, we can't achieve it. When we believe it, we will achieve it. That's another video, another time. For today, I'm gonna ask you one thing. If you had a chance at possibly, just, just an odd chance, maybe only a 50% or even a 20% chance at improving your life in every aspect, wouldn't you take it? I don't know about you, but I sure would, and I am. There's children in the background, we're in the park, and there's a couple of them having fun, and that's a great thing. Doesn't make great for videos, but I, hey, I love people, so. Keep playing, kids. Keep playing, children. And that's another thing. These children, I'd like to see them grow up never having an income issue. Money is nothing more than a tool. Nothing more than a tool. We can make a big fuss out of it. It's a tool. Problem is, if you don't have it, you can die. People ask, why am I doing what I am doing with my businesses? Are they legitimate? They have a billion other questions. First of all, if it wasn't legitimate, I wouldn't rep ruin my reputation and my credibility. So if anybody asks me that, a lot of times I just feel like asking them, how foolish are you? You think I'm gonna take 12 and a half years of credibility interviewing some of the most famous people on this planet at times? interviewing congressmen and three-star admirals, world-renowned forensic pathologists, um, nationally known documentary producers, you know, helping to save lives and change it. You think I'm gonna save that? I mean, risk that for a couple of network marketing gigs? Look, and I guess this is a warning to all the people that I work with in any of my businesses. I am a person that is first, a human being. Being second, a man of God. Well, actually first a man of God, then a human being, then an activist. And I actually look out for the little person that may be cheated, and I don't even like that terminology, the person may be ripped off. So trust me, if I find out anything that I was involved in, if I were to find out, it's not on the up and up, I would let you know. So the ridiculous comments that I've gotten over the last few years, it bothers me to a point, but it's so bizarre 
Because if you don't know who I really am and what I'm really about, that's on you. I'm sorry, but it is. But why am I in network marketing? Why will I become famous as a TV show host, talk show host? For the same reasons that I'm doing everything that I do, I need to see a day when there is not one hungry child, one hungry person in America. And then I need to be international because I'm gonna work with people who will work with me to end hunger around the globe. Around the globe, not one person. Not one of the seven billion plus people should be hungry. Now, you might say it's an impossible task. Well, maybe you think that. But people of faith claim that through God all things are possible. Well, if through God all things are possible, ending hunger will be a reality. The other societal ills, homelessness, lack of income, the rest of the gamut, we'll take them on. It may not be me, it may be somebody in my Turcaso Foundation that will be formed once I have the funding. It may be a few years, it may be a thousand years, but there will be a day when what seems impossible will definitely happen. That, I'm a billion percent certain of. For you, I ask that you honor me by honoring my dad, Albert R. Goldsmith. Do some research, see if you can find out about him. Like I said, I don't know if he's in the Google search engine, Yahoo or whatever. What's related to me, he is, yes, probably. But otherwise, I don't know, but I can tell you he won awards, even including a humanitarian award. And even KDKA Channel 2 in Pittsburgh gave him an award. He was some, something special. And in reality, he may have been my dad, but a whole lot of other people felt that he was their family too. I love you everybody in a spiritual way, even the ones that make me want to cuss you out, I love you. Tell the people in your life that you love them. And if you have the courage to do it, and I'm not saying you're not strong, but if it takes a lot to do the things that I do. It may seem routine. It's not. But if you think that you can muster up the spiritual courage, or if you're an atheist, whatever keeps you going, then look into these businesses. I didn't say you have to launch your business, but look at it. Why? For simple reason. What if you do learn? What if it could bring you a hundred extra dollars a month? Or who knows what? Look, I don't make any promises. It is work. Some of it's easy and some of it will make you cry sometimes. But isn't it worth it to improve your life and that, that or those, or the people you love? I don't know. I'm not you. But for me, I am a hundred trillion percent certain. I refuse to live without ever again. And just one final note, I believe in a God. In fact, I believe in Jesus Christ. I'm saved, I ask to be saved. I love atheists and everybody else. This is not a proselytized type of thing. But since I made my decision recently that I'm going for it, just today we were attacked by what I believe was evil. There's another couple of videos, you can look them up. We were attacked. We were driving and my right passenger side mirror with no explanation exploded. Exploded. I'm talking exploded. You'll see them in the videos. In fact, I even asked uh, scientists 
and paranormal investigators to give me a call at 412-559-2731 because personally, I want an explanation. Nothing was touched. So if the scientists say there must be an action to have a reaction, there was no action. So I think that may just be a scientific conundrum. And I would like an explanation. For those of you who believe in love, love yourself. Until then, remember that you, humanity, and all forms of life, yes, even the insects that some of us don't like, I. I still don't kill them. I just take them out of my house if they come in. In a wonton soup bowl, by the way, but we won't go there. <laughs> you can get that if you order Asian food in a soup, which, by the way, I love Asian food, but you didn't hear that. But uh, I called them the wonton soup bowls. And we actually take them outside because I don't believe in killing anything. You and humanity and all forms of life, you better believe it matters. Oh yeah, it matters.